Welcome to Underwater Math. Let's talk about numerical patterns today. We are going from a graph to a table of values. That's right, Grumpy Kitty. We are so lucky to have you here to help us. I know. Grumpy Kitty, can you tell the mathematicians what numerical patterns are? I guess. Numerical patterns are just a list of numbers created by a pattern rule. You nailed it. And what is a pattern rule? A pattern rule is an equation telling us how to get from X to Y using math operations. Great. And when we are given a graph for a numerical pattern, how do we find the correct table of values represented by the relationship between X and Y? We have to find the pattern rule from the graph first. Then we determine which table represents the rule. Let's look at an example. Stevie is a yo-yo champion and buys a lot of yo-yos to practice with. The graph shows the relationship between X, the number of yo-yos, and Y, the total cost in dollars. Stevie's got nothing on me. Which table also represents this relationship? First, we need to find the rule from the graph. That's right. Let's find out how we go from X to Y by looking at the points on the graph. We can multiply by 3 each time. That must be our rule. Yes. Now let's find out which table fits this rule. Take a look at the green table first. What is happening each time to get to Y? Dividing by 3 works for each pair of points. This is not the rule we are looking for. You're right. Let's check the yellow table. Each of these numbers can be multiplied by 3 to get to the corresponding Y. That matches our rule. Yes, it does. This is the correct table. Grumpy Kitty, can you summarize for our mathematicians how to find a table from a graph? I'm practicing my super sweet yo-yo skills, but sure. First, you find the rule from the graph. Label the points and figure out how to go from X to Y. Then find which table represents that rule you found. Check each pair of points to make sure the rule works every time. Thank you, Grumpy Kitty, for showcasing your numerical pattern skills once again. Great. I gotta go walk the dog now. See you next time on Underwater Math.